Welcome to the Big Picture Retirement Show, where you'll learn what it really takes to have a successful retirement. With over 20 years of experience, your host, Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group has seen it all and is here to help you achieve your retirement dreams. This is the Big Picture Retirement Show. Welcome into the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. Rick is a partner at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, has over 20 years of experience in the financial industry. Now, Safeguard Investment Advisory Group is here to help you figure out where you are on that road to retirement. Can I retire? Well, when can I retire? Do I have enough? Will my money last? As long as I do, uh, as long as we do, right? There's a lot of moving parts when you get to the distribution phase. You have the accumulation phase, your working years, now retirement distribution phase. Are we on the right track? Are we doing the right things? Don't even know. Well, hopefully you do know. Uh, you can find out more about Rick and the team by going to the website, safeguardinvestment.com, safeguardinvestment.com. And of course, if you have questions about any of this, uh, you can always give them a holler. 800-700-1980, 800-700-1980. I'm Mark Elliott. Glad you're with us today. Rick, you ready to go? Yeah, absolutely, Mark. What do you got for me today? All right. Well, think about this. We all have some bad habits, probably. A few. Maybe one. Might be more, <laughs> right? But It depends on who you're talking to. The point of this is, though, obviously, any time is a good time to break a bad habit. So whether you want to make improvements in your routine at home, your job performance at work with your physical health or your financial health, the time to make a positive change for your future, it's right now. That's how it works. So, Rick, here's a stat that's kind of I don't, you're not going to be surprised by it at all, I think. But only 33 percent of, Amer of Americans have a written financial plan. So most of us are kind of winging it when it comes to our spending. How in the world can we break the bad habit of living without a budget? You know, um, that's a very good question. You're 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 asking me to be a psychologist now, Mark. You know, I, you know. At the end of the day, you know, a lot of this is all going to boil down to education, and a lot of people already know um, they don't have a written plan. There's a lot of things that you know that they should have written plans on, but at the end of the day, if we want to, you know, succeed at anything. We have to have some sort of guide, some sort of uh, a goal to, to you know, uh, to strive for. And we have to understand that we have to make certain sacrifices in order to make these things happen. And without a written plan for your retirement planning or, or investment planning or anything else, you're so easily uh, able to get stray off course, so to speak. And then to come back on course, it takes a lot of heavy lifting. So... I think that if if individuals can come to the conclusion that, hey, it may be a good idea that I write some stuff down and have some sort of course lined out, that way, if I do start straying off, I won't stray off too far and it's easier to come back. And a lot of times, you know, if you, if you keep procrastinating on it by yourself, don't hesitate to ask somebody to help you, whether it's a spouse, family member, friend, or even hiring a professional. So I think that's a, that's a big thing, and that's a, you know something for people to consider. Yeah, and I think a lot of people, when you think about it, you, you get a paycheck every two weeks, and you're like, well, I'm not overspending my budget, or well, you know what I'm getting paid, so I must be doing okay. Well, maybe delve into it a little bit. It, it doesn't take long to go through your bills, and and then also look at the things you're paying quarterly or semi-annually or annually. And and really, if you think of a budget, it should be a four-letter word, like a diet. But if I think of a health plan instead of a diet, I'm more positive. If I think of a spending plan instead of a budget, I'm more positive there, aren't I? Yeah, you know what? You actually, that's a very good analogy. No, abs absolutely. And um, again, it, it's one of those things where people cannot be afraid to just ask for help. Because they're, they're, uh, let's face it, there's it, whether it's this area or some other area that we procrastinate on or don't have a plan for, a lot of times, you know, for individuals, it's just overwhelming, you know, and we don't want to think about it. So play it safe, play it right. And if you feel you're overwhelmed or you don't have the knowledge, then don't be afraid to ask for help and get somebody involved to help you create that for yourself. So again, you're just not going through life kind of willy nilly. And then at the last minute realize, oh my God, I wish I would have done this, or I wish I would have done that. Or if only I had this information or this education, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So when you think about it, Rick and the team at Safeguard Investment Advisor Group have set up a, an opportunity for you to really kind of educate yourself about retirement and some of the challenges. Some, and obviously, we can think of the great things, the dreams, you know, the bucket list things we've always dreamed of doing. If you want this information, 
the retirement guides. There's a webinar that Reed Abedin, Reed, Eddie, and, and Rick are all the partners at, at Safeguard Investment Advisor Group. Reed took the hour or so webinar that he does at, in, at appearances when they do a seminar, for example, and, and knocked it down to 30 minutes, kind of the nuts and bolts of what Safeguard could do for you. So if you would like that webinar, those retirement guides, all you have to do is text the word toolkit to 951-667-4969, and you get all of that. No cost, no obligation. It's really there for your information, your education, if you will. Text the word toolkit to 951 667 4961. Here's another bad habit for us, Rick, and that would be complacency. You know, we don't make regular adjustments to our portfolio. We don't pay attention to the fees we're paying. We keep our money with some financial institutions just because we don't take the time to explore other options. I've changed my bank from one credit union to another because I was moving a car loan there. They had a better deal, and I said, I'm taking that deal. And they said, well, it'll be real easy to move. And I forgot about all the automatic payments that come out of my checking account. It was a little bit more complicated than they said. Uh, so we think some of these things are easy, but it's easier to just, you know, well, streaming services. Hey, I haven't even used that one, but I still pay for it, for example. Maybe we need to look a little deeper into some of these things, right? Yeah. In terms of what, now re repeat that question again, Mark. I'm not, I'm not Complacency. sure. Complacency complacency. Oh, complacency. We, right. Yes, yes, yes. No, totally. Uh, and, and I'm guilty of it myself. You know, you just mentioned, um, you know, I got a gym membership that I'm uh, paying for every month that I'm not using at, I use a different gym now. And uh, the old one, I just haven't had a chance to go in there. And I'm so busy with everything that I just, I just put it off. But yeah, complacency is a, a killer. It goes back to what we were talking about before. You know, you got to figure out what's important to you and create some foundational things that, that are, are key and important to you and your spouse or, or you as an individual and decide, hey, let me, you know, if, if retirement planning is important, hey, or, or, you know, let me sit down with somebody and have them help me execute a plan. And then once it's set up and it's automated to where you don't have to think about it, you have somebody there to help quarterback it for you. So that way you're not doing all the heavy lifting, in a sense, you can go back to a little bit of complacency because you have somebody there that's your coach, somebody there that's quarterbacking it all for you, and then they're keeping you up to date uh, to make sure that you're on track. So this is definitely a direction that I would go when it comes to uh, people that are you know, procrastinating, complacency, and all the rest of it. Absolutely. So we don't want to be too complacent when it comes to taxes either. I mean, a lot of people don't realize, Rick, that there is a short window of opportunity to implement strategies to save on taxes. What can maybe the team at Safeguard Investment Advisor Group and Rick Rivera, what can you do to maybe help us make sure that taxes don't take too much of a, a bite out of our retirement savings? Well, what we do is we actually sit down with an individual, figure out what their objectives are, and now we can educate you. We can look at your taxes and say, hey, listen, you know what? Here are some strategies you might be able to implement now to minimize taxes currently, which puts more money in your pocket now, which you can use either for, for savings towards retirement or to um, increase your budget every month. And then maybe there's some strategies that we can implement now to set you up so that way when you do retire, you might be able to save money or, or save taxes on Social Security pensions and all the rest of it, which will enhance what it is that you're currently doing. So again, the challenge is that if we're going to be complacent or we don't get the education, the problem is, is that people wait till it's too late to find out about some of these strategies. And again, some of the strategies that we talk about on the show, the earlier you implement them, the better off you're going to be, because the earlier we start it, the more leverage uh, you're going to have later on. Now, we can always do it and implement it later on, but the earlier we start, the more enhancement uh, it adds or more leverage it adds to the total portfolio, your total planning. And that would certainly play into saving, to taxes, to, um, boy, really about every aspect of your retirement plan. <laughs> and if we, the earlier we start, the better. And you know what? Nobody wants to give away unnecessary money to the government. You know, a lot of my clients are like, hey, listen, Rick, you know what? I don't mind paying my fair share. I just don't want to be paying more than my fair share. So if there's some strategies that can be implemented that might help me minimize what I'm paying now, then I'd love to know about it. But the big thing, Mark, is this. 
most people, when they go to get their taxes done, it's already too late. April 15th, your tax preparer is reporting everything that happened last year. They can't change that. The strategies we're talking about, we have to be proactive moving forward. And that's where the true planning comes in. Absolutely. If you'd like to take advantage of that, you can always call the team at Safeguard. It's 800-700-1980, Safeguard Investment Advisor Group. Tax planning is a big, big part of retirement planning today because of 401ks, IRAs. You haven't been taxed on that money yet. Uh, hopefully you got some Roths in there. But 401ks and IRAs, the government was pretty smart. They don't want your seed money. They want the harvest money. So there are ways to maybe get around some of those taxes. And it's not get around. You're not, you're not, breaking the law, right? You're, you're going, okay, I'm going to move some of this, pay some taxes now. That's a really big part of what Rick and the team can help guide you with is really that. I'm going to give you one more, Rick, before we wrap this segment up, and that's procrastination. Uh, that's a bad habit we really should all try to break. Have you ever had somebody say, hey, Rick, I've been listening to you for a while now, and I should have called you when I first thought about it, but now I'm finally getting around to it. We do tend to procrastinate. All the time, and especially when it comes to topics like your investment planning, your retirement planning, your trust and will planning. When it comes to these topics, let's face it, it's not the most exciting topic in the world. And we get busy with work. We get busy with kids, the, the, the grandkids, the, the family. Everything else is more important, it seems like, than, than doing this. The challenge that I run into is when we procrastinate too much. And now when you're forced to come to the table and you're forced to plan and you find out that, you know what, I'm in trouble, and now you're stressing. That's the big issue that we run into. So the idea is, hey, take an opportunity to talk with a team at, at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. It's really never too early, and in most cases, it's never too late. There are things they certainly can't do, do for you later that they could do for you earlier, uh, but the idea is you got some questions, you, you quit procrastinating. Let's just chat with uh, Rick and the team, find out where you are, and then see if you do need to make a tweak here or there. Earlier the better, 800-700-1980, complimentary, no cost to you, 800 700 1980. Glad you're with us today for the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. Stay with us. We're back with more right after this. You're listening to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. For more information about Rick and the Safeguard Investment Advisory Group team, go to safeguardinvestment.com. While you're there, you can also download educational retirement guides and sign up for an upcoming seminar. That's safeguardinvestment.com. Now, back to the podcast. Glad you're with us today for the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. You can always find out more about Rick, Reed, Eddie, and the team. Safeguardinvestment.com. They have five offices across California. Rick in the Corona office most of the time. Safeguardinvestment.com. Calm. I'm Mark Elliott. You have questions. Where am I on that road to retirement? I'm, I'm tired of procrastinating. I should have talked with Rick five years ago. Now's the time, 800-700-1980, 800-700-1980. We're going to talk a little timeless advice uh, in this segment, and, and that is maybe some quotes that stuck in your mind. You think of you know an historical person saying something, Ben Franklin or George Washington or something like that. But, Rick, I've got one that I kind of like, and it is that you cannot fool the person in the mirror. And that means mm -hmm. I can fool the people around me about what's going on in my life and be guarded and all of that, but I can't fool myself. Is there any right. something that maybe a parent, grandparent, coach, teacher, mentor, somebody said to you that kind of stuck with you? I put you on the spot there, didn't I? Yeah, you sure did. Um, because, you know, there, there's so many things. There's so many. I mean, as soon as you said that, I mean, there, there's there's so many um, ways I can go with that. You what know, does it make hay while the sun shines or something like yeah, that? Yeah, you know, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it could be everything from, you know, advice that I got from my parents or think from books that I read. And, um, yeah, there's just, just so many directions I, I, I could go with that. So I guess why don't you be a little bit more specific? Yeah, so if you, if you end up thinking of one that really sticks out, you can throw it in when you want to. But yeah. I, I didn't give you any time for that. I just threw it out there. So it is interesting. But that, that's the idea of this. Something that stuck out, stuck out and stuck with you over the years, really, that you've heard a long time ago. Um, mm -hmm. So here's one. comes from Eleanor Roosevelt. She was influential during her husband, Franklin D. Roosevelt's presidency. And she said this. It takes as much energy to wish as it does to plan. And we know, Rick, we've seen the, the stats that a lot of people spend more time planning that vacation a week or two vacation, they do planning that 20, 30 year retirement, right? You know, it's interesting that you, you, you read that quote or said that quote, excuse me. Um, 
it takes as much energy to wish as it does to plan. You know, people can wish all they want. At the end of the day, I think most of the energy comes into actually executing that wish or executing that plan. So it's one thing to wish something. It's one thing to write it down. It's another thing to take action. And you know what? To go back to your um, question that you asked me earlier, something that stands out in my mind, and I even told my kids this is growing up, you know, words mean nothing. Actions mean everything. So that is something that stands in my mind. So when it comes to planning and retirement planning, when I say words mean nothing, actions mean everything, here's what holds people back from action. What holds people back from action, I think, and not just procrastination, but what causes the procrastination, they may feel overwhelmed. And here's something that I experience with people that I meet for the first time. They'll tell me, Rick, I research, you know, stuff on the internet and I, and, and they're getting a lot of conflicting information on the internet, you know, and, and maybe they are trying to, to do the right thing, but all the different things that you read on the internet, there's so much conflicting stuff that they don't even know where to start. And everybody's situation is different. There's so, as you know, Mark, there's so many general rules of thumb out there that if you're a person, you know, that, you know, you can sit down with somebody or you can read on the internet, oh, the rule of 100, the 4% rule, you know, this, that, and the other. But what do these general rules of thumb have to do with your overall planning? If let's say, for example, you're in a situation where you're, you're single, or maybe you're married and we have to make up a shortfall in income, or maybe you're in a situation, these rules of thumb don't understand that maybe you're a candidate for a Roth conversion. These rules of thumb don't understand that, Hey, you know what? Maybe you have a special needs child that you have to take care of. These rules of thumb don't understand that, you know, social security and your pensions are taxed differently. And how can we offset the investments to minimize taxes on those things? And I mean, I can go, the list goes on and on. So these plans have to be designed specifically for you, not just based on general rules of thumb. And I think this is where if you feel overwhelmed and if you're reading a lot of conflicting information that's out there, which I totally understand, because even me, when I watch these commercials on TV or when I see things on, on the Internet, I'm like, how does the average person know what to do? So this is where somebody that specializes in this area can sit down with you and say, okay, let me just get rid of all the noise and and let me pinpoint and show you exactly what pertains to you. And now they take all of the noise out of the way. And now whatever plan that is designed, and this is what we help people with every day, is specifically for your situation, not some general rules of thumb. And the idea is maybe it's time for you to take action, right? Boy, we're going to retire here pretty soon. We don't have a plan. We've we've got the tools. We think we've done enough. We hope we've done enough. We don't know. Perfect time to call the team at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, 800-700-1980, 800-700-1980. There's no cost to you. Great opportunity, I think. One of the more important phone calls you make, 15-minute phone call. And then from there you go, hey, I think I'd like to come in and sit down with you and let's really talk about that big picture blueprint, income, investment, taxes, healthcare, legacy planning, all those key parts of retirement planning. Rick can walk you through it and clear up some of the mud that's out there and make a clearer picture. That would be great. 800-700-1980. All right, Rick, I'm going to give you another uh, timeless advice. And this one comes from the first American to win the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences for his fundamental contributions to nearly all branches of economic theory. And you and I, no question, know that this was Paul Samuelson, right? Or I never heard of him, actually. Have you ever heard of him? I haven't. (laughs) But here's what he said. Investing should be more like watching paint dry or watching grass grow. If you want excitement, take $800 and go to Las Vegas. There's a lot of that because people go, well, Rick, what kind of rate of return can you get me? Well, retirement's oh. still about rate of return, but that's not the total picture, is it? Oh, God. You know, and, and it, it, this reminds me of a question that I get asked, and I just got it asked the other day. Somebody was at, uh, I was doing a workshop, the end of the workshop, a lady said to me, hey, Rick, what do you think of mutual funds? Should I be investing in mutual funds? I don't even know anything about her situation. You know, so it's like, you know, so, so, so the, again, this is all generalities, but I think what he's talking about here is at the end of the day, we need to stick to the fundamentals. You know, um, everybody's looking for the hottest, uh, stock tip that's going to make a million dollars tomorrow. And, um, unfortunately 
you know what, we don't want our retirement to be planned on a whim. So what it is, it's about properly diversifying. It's, it's, it's having an actual plan that is, is modified as time goes on. And here, you know, when he says, when you were saying, you know, it, it, watching paint dry and watching grass grow, that's where I was saying earlier, you know, it's a situation where the more time we have on our side and the sooner we do our planning, the more leverage we have for these strategies to work in our favor. So it's about sticking to the fundamentals and making sure that, hey, yeah, we're going to have up and down markets, but what are we doing when the markets are down to leverage those down markets in our favor? And while they're down, is our income still going to be secure? What strategies do we have in place to make sure our income is secure, the taxes are in line, and everything else is in line? So it requires a multi-pronged approach. Just don't look at one investment. Somebody comes up to me and says, hey, Rick, what do you think about a mutual fund? Well, all these different investments, folks, are just tools. And we have to use the appropriate tools based upon your particular situation. And that's what I would say to that. Yeah, and you think about it. The team at Safeguard Investment Advisor Group, Rick and the, and the team, can certainly sit down with you and look at your situation and give you some advice. Uh, you become a client. You put the big picture blueprint together with that covers all those areas. Because think about it, risk. Safety versus growth. How do that's a big part of, of retirement planning. Taxes. We know taxes in theory are going to change in 2026. Our taxes are going to go up. You make 100 grand now, uh, you're in the 22 percent bracket. In in 2017, that was the 28 percent bracket. So those are changing. What about the fees you're paying? Do you understand that? What about moving some money from our IRA 401k into the Roth world? Does that make sense? Does it not? Everybody's situation is unique. Income planning. Rick and the team can walk you through that because that's what retirement is about income. You've got to have income to replace the paychecks no longer coming in. What about health and long-term care? 70% of us will need some form of long-term care. Do you have a plan? And then, of course, wealth strategy. All of this is a part of the big picture blueprint. Rick and the team are here to help, but it starts by not procrastinating and picking up the phone and just giving them a call. There's no cost, no obligation, no pressure. The number is 800-700-1980. 800-700-1980. Nineteen eighty. Time to do it right now. Rick, enjoyed it. Uh, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Have a great week. We'll do it again next week. Thank you so much, Mark. Firm offers insurance services. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is a registered investment advisory firm. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to protection, safety, or lifetime income generally refer to fixed insurance products, never securities, or investments. Insurance guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims-paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This radio show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual situation. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is not permitted to offer and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC.